What's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio, and welcome back to your 27th, wait, my, my apologies, 28th Java programming tutorial. So today we're going to be learning about something I told you guys I would teach you, and that is the static modifier. So as you can see, we have a static modifier here, and we used a bunch of static modifiers before in our other classes, or in our other tutorials, sorry. Um, we used like public, static, Oh, get out of here and number and if you guys remember we were making a object of the tomatoes class then access blah, blah, blah. well that was weird accessing this um variable here that's actually not entirely correct that's not what I should have been doing that I, because I had a static variable I'm actually supposed to access it uh, through a static way so if you guys don't understand what that means i'm going to clear it up right now so let's give a value to this number this is probably gonna be the simplest like simplest tutorial ever um a lot of people make static really really complicated by including like methods and classes and yeah i was well i am including classes but i'm just going to use a variable and i'm going to show you how static works by using a variable uh, it's going to be really simple. So now that we have a public static int, um, we're going to be accessing it not with an object, but actually just the class name itself. So let's just print that out. So if we go s out, if we use the class name uh, that the uh, variable is in, so it's tomatoes, if we just go tomatoes, and then we put a dot separator, we have number right there. And there you go. That's actually the proper way. If you notice in my last tutorials, we had a yellow underline saying that you're not accessing it in a static way. And this is the way you're supposed to access static uh, variables and static methods and all that stuff. Um, so instead of making an object like this, tomatoes t is equal to new tomatoes. Um, instead of doing that and then going t dot uh, number that's actually not right you're supposed to be using it tomatoes dot number because um, it's a static variable and that's the way static variables are supposed to be accessed um, yeah so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I might go a little there's a little bit more about static very uh, static modifiers um, but I don't want to I don't want to overwhelm you guys even though this was a pretty simple tutorial let's just keep it that way and I'll teach you guys about uh, a little more about static modifiers in the next tutorial. So see you guys later and comment, rate, and subscribe and see ya.